Now, congratulations on your movie, uh, nominated in a number of categories. Um, can you tell us the experience of making it? Um, yes, it was very cold and wet. That's the thing. But um, that's Scotland for you, and um, various other parts of the UK, uh, England. It was. It was sort of. Um, yesterday I felt I must be going to something to do with Macbeth because there was so much wind and rain sort of last night. I thought, right, okay, well, <laughs> we're back in we're back in Macbeth land. Yeah. Getting flashbacks to making it. I was, yeah, a little bit. Um, th- uh, um, uh, an amazing cast that you assembled for this movie. Uh, how difficult was it to get um, a well-known cast to do Shakespeare? Um, it was sort of a bit of a dream because um, we thought when we had when we when I actually read the script about ten years ago when I first started in film and I thought well if I ever become a producer I'd love to I'd love to produce that adaptation and it was after we'd produced Shame and we thought well we'll 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 option this script and we'll send it to Michael Fassbender and if he says yes we'll do it if we don't then or maybe we won't do it so we we did and he said that he wanted to do it and it sort of changed from there and then after that uh, Marion Cotillard came on board and before that the director Justin Gazelle and I think his um, take on the material and his reputation from his first film really in, in terms of bringing the film together was pretty easy in terms of cast plus the roles are great I mean he's not the, uh, Justin's not the obvious choice to direct a film like this so what was it that you saw in his earlier films that made you think he'd be great for this um, in some ways Macbeth is very much the story of um, a leader within a community that brings everyone with him even though he's doing terrible things and uh, Justin's first film Snowtown was very much that story in its heart so it felt very natural in some ways to just apply that to the Scottish Highlands necessarily not necessarily to the um, to Adelaide in Australia and then to have Michael Fassbender and Marion Cotillard at the centre of that it didn't seem like that big a stretch really. Um, in terms of other films that have been out this year, what have you particularly enjoyed? Oh, I've, I've loved so much, and it's interesting because the international film category here is actually produced by a lot of British companies as well. So, you know, films like Room, um, I love The Lobster, I love 45 Years. I mean, it's been, it's, it's been an incredible, it's been an incredible year for British cinema in all its forms, really. What have you got coming up next? Um, we're shooting a film, I can't have too late tonight tonight because I'm going to set tomorrow morning, but um, we're shooting a film called How to Talk to Girls at Parties. Uh, which is a Neil Gaiman short, short, short story that's been adapted into a feature with Nicole Kidman and Elle Fanning. So we're shooting that right now. Excellent. And uh, is that another British production? Than... It is, it is. It's, a, it's an American, uh, American director, but it's uh, about a group of punks in 1977 who stumble upon a house party uh, and they think they're all American, but they're actually aliens. And it's about how difficult it is uh, to chat up a girl whether you're an alien or whether you're just a teenager. Well, something we can all relate to there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!